Good morning. Welcome to Starboard Consulting's 10 Minute Maximo Tech Tips. This month of December, we're going to be focusing on work orders in Maximo. My name's Lonnie Trotter, and I'd like to introduce you to our Tech 10. Here's our December lineup. Today, we'll be talking about quick reporting. Next week, work centers, where we have the work technician and work supervisors. And then on December 15th, uh, Maximo Every Place, where mobile work orders can be configured uh, for your users. Today, we're going to look at Maximo work options, work order options. So we know that Maximo is an enterprise asset management system. But at the core of Maximo is we have to get some work done with our assets and on our assets. And Maximo does offer multiple ways to perform work and to document your work. We have work order tracking, which is the popular, most highly used application in Maximo for work. There's also an application called Quick Reporting, which we're going to look at today in more depth. Then in the, on the mobile side of things, we have Maximo Every Place and the Maximo Work Centers. Today, I'd like to look at the comparison and contrast between work order tracking and quick reporting. The question is, which one do you choose? And the answer is, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, depending on your user audience, depending on many situations that both can be deployed and utilized to their fullest capability. So let's take a look at work order tracking, the application we all know and love. It provides a wealth of information about the work, about the asset, about the teams that will be leading the work, about the schedule, about the details that are needed to perform the work. And we all know and love this application. But as you can see, as you look deeper at the work order tracking application, it is almost overwhelming. If you talk about it from a user perspective or a worker work performer pers perspective, it's just a lot. 13, more than 13 tabs to look at to try to find information. And when you dig deeper into, into the, work tab, the work order tab, there are nine sections over 108 fields to scroll through, even just on the first page. So what I'd like to propose to you is that perhaps, in contrast, to, there is a quick reporting application. So quick reporting was designed as a streamlined work order app. It's simple. Fields are consolidated, the most, most highly used fields. The sections that, you, that are most uh, popular are presented for use by the user. And it can be a great solution for a quick work order. Um, many uh, companies use this to um, document work that's already been performed or uh, emergent work that has come in. Qu make a quick work order, get the job done, uh, finish it out in one fell swoop. But I propose that this, this application could also be used easily for crews to perform uh, PM work orders because all the information has already been planned um, and the task would be presented. Notice in the quick reporting application, we only have two tabs. You have all the work information available right here up top, up front and center. You've got um, the information regarding the the crews that will be using, that will be performing the work, everything right up here in the header. And then in addition to that, you have the, the advantage of your multi-asset table if you need it, the task lists, and from this application, um, the documentation of the work if, uh, uh, can be performed as well. As you go down the, the, uh, the page on, in quick reporting, you notice you can enter your actuals, including labor, materials, tools, services, even you could even failure reporting can be added and your and your work log all in one streamlined one page work order. This is the beauty of quick reporting. Let's take a look again at, at, at work order tracking. 13 tabs. 
in the work details tab alone that talks about the actual work itself has got nine sections and over 108 fields. In quick reporting, it's a one page, the sections you want and can be modified, as you know, an, app, an application designer to place the fields in the right places to help the worker take the steps that they need to complete the work. Um, we have customized quick reporting uh, many times for the use of our, our clients based on their specific needs, even to the extent that you can create a special quick reporting for a specific kind of job. So you have even a more streamlined um, set of actions that they can take as well as uh, fields that need to be completed. So it almost resembles that piece of paper that you hand um, hand the, the crews. Now one of the drawbacks that you'll hear sometimes when people are talking about quick reporting is that when you create a new record in quick reporting it's automatically an in-progress status. And this is really for good reason, right? So you're talking about a work order that is just emergent uh, someone has just walked up perhaps to a service desk or into a garage and they need some some work done and you're going to complete the work right there. So quickly create the work order. It's in progress already. Document what you can and then it can be quickly closed out. Um, I look at that as, as an opportunity to provide a, a, a way to uh, efficiently process work without going through the entire status change process that is required in in uh, work orders. Um, we do hope that uh, you enjoyed the session on quick reporting. Um, if there are any questions, please uh, feel free to uh, enter them in the chat window. Starboard is focused on Maximo. We are a Maximo only uh, consulting firm and we would look forward to helping you with any of your Maximo uh, efforts. And just uh, to recap, for the month of December, we are focusing on the work order um, functionality in Maximo. Next week, the work setter technician is going to be highlighted um, in Maximo. And then on December 15th, the Tech 10 will focus on Maximo every place, which is the uh, application uh, designer uh, ability to, to create work order. Uh, processing in a mobile environment uh, to fit your mobile devices. Thank you very much for joining. Do we have any questions, Ted? Doesn't look like we do. Uh, thanks so much to everyone that attended today, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.